creating a data set, it's a really important creative act um, because that's how you condition the, the, the system that will then that you will then create. Welcome back to part two of our conversation between pioneer Mick Gerson and artist Stephanie Dinkins, who both use deep learning and close collaboration and conversation to create new narratives and possible futures for AI. What intrigues you um, about the other's work? I want to talk to you about conversations with Bina48. Are you asking about my essence? Yes. Because it felt like it was obviously not you, but it was, a, it was something you wished was more like you. I started to mimic the thing. Really? Yes. <laughs> um, like I, I went out and bought a shirt that kind of looked like ours. I got a scarf and it's like, what am I doing? So I had to suspend disbelief and let it happen. But it, as we talk to each other as humans, we often kind of mimic and start to play with each other and getting to know each other, kind of like when partners start to look like each other, right? On the other side, maybe Stephanie, are there elements of mixed work that you're intrigued by? Like, so you mentioned playfulness before. Like, I want you to talk about what that approach means to you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I would love to talk about that. For me, because I've always done experimental electronic artworks, there was always this very long setup process. But um, the truth is that none of that matters at all if the moment is no good. And what drives me forward through all those kind of late nights and those inhuman processes, it's that when you get a system that works, that you know does something that's not quite like anything people have seen before, that the value in that is the reward. I think a lot of things you're talking about here at the end can lead into the key question, which is can deep learning discover new futures and what would you conceive of as the most critical part of applying deep learning to artistic practice and to technology as well? It's one of the most exciting new technologies to come along for a long time but there are massive difficulties with it. However, the future potential for unlocking creative actions by humans with this technology is fantastic because of, the, of its capability to represent those things that, that we know if they're not there, but we find difficult to explain. And for that reason, I think it's going to be inspiring artists for quite a long time to come. I agree. I think deep learning is an amazing tool, right? And I fight with the idea of it a lot because in the artistic creative hands, it's this putty we can play with and do things. But I also recognize that every time I pick it up, it seems like I'm doing some type of surveillance and trying to balance out what do we do because there are folks who are like well we just disengage and i'm like i think this genie is way out of the bottle this time it's not happening and so the question becomes how do we engage it what does it allow us to do as a society and how do we shape each other right because i do think like these technologies are shaping us as we shape them Mick and Stephanie both it was really delightful to see the two of you in conversation to have this space together and uh, thank you so much uh, for your time and your generosity. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. thank you, Mick. This was great. Yeah. yeah. It was really good fun. Yeah. Hyundai Motor. Connecting art and technology.